All right, what's going on, guys? It is Way Prime Shinobi back at another video, and in this video, I'm doing my One Piece manga chapter 1028 review. And sorry for the music in the background, as always. I've probably said this like a million times in these kinds of videos, my reviews, but or any video really on uh, my channel or stream or whatever. But sorry for the music in the background. Can't really do anything about it. It's annoying, I know. But, you know, but anyway, we're here to talk about One Piece Mongo chapter 1028. So this chapter was built different, different breed of a chapter. But before we get into that, I just want to get into the cover story. It's really cool. So it's like a video game theme, kind of like Smash Brothers, kind of. So we have Nami and Usopp. They're playing the video games. And we see Zoro is dressed up as Link fighting Chopper, which looks to be cosplaying as Charizard, uh, Jinbei's Mario, uh... Sanji, I think he's like Snake or something. Sorry, I never played Metal Gear Solid. I don't know. I don't know who Brooke is. I couldn't tell. Robin, I think, is just in her demonio form. We see Luffy as Ken from Street Fighter. And we see Frankie as Donkey Kong. They're all beating the crap out of each other. And it makes sense that Nami and Usopp are the ones playing. Since they're part of the coward trio. Some of the weakest um, members in the group. But, yeah, let's get into the chapter. Okay, so the chapter starts in the guest parlor inside the gate. And, uh... Yeah, so we see one of the communicators of Kaido. Oh, also, I forgot to say that the chapter's name is Brachio Snakis, 1028. We'll get into that later. But, guess part of it inside the castle. We see one of Kaido's communicators communicating with CP0, as we know, talking about uh, Luffy on when they, with, a, with a mysterious dragon. We know it's Momonosuke, but they don't know. And going against Kaido, so... So, yeah, we see... Uh, so, we see CP0... CP0 the man with the with the mask and the kind of cowboy hat called Kaido's communicator and told told is telling them about orders that they received from above from the from the world government higher and uh, yeah so it says the nation of Wano unaffiliated with the world government will be placed under the government's direct control if Kaido loses so if, and the, it shows the ships heading towards Wano already and they have resources apparently after they were going to get the warlords so they're going in to Wano, if Kaido loses, they're gonna they're gonna pull a Blackbeard. So they're taking, they're stealing from Blackbeard essentially. They're gonna take his st strategy and t and apply that to their to their arsenal. And sorry about that, but yeah, like if if Kaido's actually beaten, then yeah. So that's that's what they're gonna do. And we see that the person that is gonna that is talking. On the well, actually no. We see that people. So you see someone communicating, and it's it's another. It's other members of CP Zero. We see Rob, Lucci, Kaku, and Stussy. And as we know, the last time we saw them, they were at the Reverie, and the Reverie has since ended. Uh, at this point in the story, and we see uh, Rob Lucci talking uh, talking about an order that he's received called Br that says bring back Nico Robin. So, and he's monologuing about how important she is. And how they, how if she gets out, she, he's going to be a major threat to the world government. And it's looking a lot like uh, Annie's Lobby Part 2, just saying. And I love Annie's Lobby. Annie's Lobby is my top 5, even, maybe even top 3 favorite arcs in the series. Water 7 slash Annie's Lobby with CP0, Cypher Pole. Actually, no, CP9, Cypher Pole. But now he's in CP0. So, yeah, we see Brooke and Robin. You know, they're, they're going, they're, they're going around fighting fodder and... Uh, yeah, so they're going after Robin, which makes a lot of sense in this in this term, because as we know, the communicators can see, and they're you know communicating with CP Zero, and the CP Zero wants to get rid of Nico Robin. They don't want to kill her, but they want to capture her. So I'm excited that Rob Lucci is going to be back in the story, and we're going to see him again. I can't wait to see his encounter with Luffy, that eye to eye, you know, and Kaido. And Rob Lucci doesn't seem bothered by the fact that Luffy is fighting Kaido with another dragon. You know how how high Luffy has gotten because last time they fought Luffy absolutely smoked them, and uh, two years ago. So yeah. Then we cut to Onigashima above Wano, so we see the whole island of Onigashima moving towards the flower capital. It says only five minutes left, five minutes left toward the capital, and we see Momonosuke. He's whining because as we know, Kaido's flame clouds they're they're de deteriorating because they're getting weaker, and. Uh, yeah, they're, they're getting weaker, so if it gets weakened, everything's going to fall with a lot of the bombs and weapons on Onigashima, because we know that that will, like, sh like, get the casualties of the battle shot all the way up to the moon. Yeah, but, 
So we see Momonosuke, he's panicking, and Momono Yamato's trying to like talk him through to do the flame clouds because ev most a lot of everyone's gonna die if he doesn't, and uh, he's panicking. So he's even telling himself, if I do not do this, countless people will die. You know, he's with uh, like I said, he's with Yamato, and uh, and yeah. So uh, Yamato said that she's going back to the Skull Dome right now. Uh, to keep the damage at a minimum in case of the absolute disaster. So she believes in him, but if he doesn't, she's going to go and, and try to mi minimize the amount of casualties as much as possible and the and go to the armory, armory and destroy the explosives just in case. Because if it falls with the explosives, more people are going to die than just the island falling on itself. So, yeah. And Momonosuke, he's like, if I don't do this worst case scenario, you know, Everything's gonna go to crap in on Wano, the flower capital. So, yeah. And we see Mo, we see Yamato turn into a dog. So he like in her mythical zone form. Well, it's not a dog; it's a wolf. A mythical zone form. So she's you know doing her thing, and Momo's panicking. And we see then we after this we cut to the performance floor inside the dome to the Sanji versus Queen. Now this is where the chapter you know, or the, the the meat and potatoes of the chapter are why it's called Brachio Snakes. So. We see Sanji versus um, Queen again. You know, Sanji's throwing blows. Uh, Queen's throwing blows. Sanji's weaving. And Queen wants, wants, demands Sanji to show him the German double six battle suit. Because Queen loves tech. He's a tech, he's a tech, like, fiend. So he wants to see, uh, he wants to see the suit. And he's basically trying to guilt trip Sanji, saying that he used it against King earlier. And uh, how how he's not using it against uh, Queen and Sanji recalls again after he got hit and he, and he rises up from the ground that his body is still feeling weird because we he mentioned this to Zoro when the when they started fighting that his suit his body started to feel weird after the uses of the raid suit so yeah Qu Queen is calling him by his last name Vince Smoke he's like put him on and uh, Sanji's like do not call me by that name. You don't know anything about my family, my situation, but then he, and he also says, "Scratch that! They're not my family at all. I'm not wearing it." So he still refuses to wear the suit, even though he's used it before. But yeah, so uh, the Queen shoots a laser called Coffee Beam directly at Sanji. Sanji weaves it, obviously, Daobu Jambu. He heats up his like grill shot, bien cut, and he kicks um, Queen in the stomach, and it gives like grill marks all of all over his stomach. And I know this gotta hurt. Because it's Sanji, you know what I mean? So Queen goes flying, obviously. So, so yeah, so yeah, as we know, Sanji's very strong. He packs a real punch in the battle. But we see King, I mean, Queen, sorry. He's like, he's obviously he's a brachiosaur. So he extends his neck to the furthest it can go and his tail. So he's like, like in, in a straight up position and, uh, he does a move called Brachial Snake. So, like, the his neck all the way from... The, his, it goes from his neck to the inside of his stomach to outside of his tail. And it shoots out. So, he turns into a snake. A dinosaur into a snake. And it's pretty bizarre. It's kind of humorous. Queen is kind of like a humorous character um, in the series that we've seen so far. And uh, and Wano or the Onigashima Raid as a whole. So, yeah, he's shooting through. And everyone's so shocked. We see Chopper. It's like, what the heck? We see Izo, Marco. Uh, we see Hyogoro. And yeah, so. So even Sanji's like, what the heck? Sanji, so Queen, he goes in. He wraps it around Sanji like a python. And he crushes. He's crushing um, Sanji to attempt to kill him. And uh, he's talking about no one has ever escaped the, cl the clutches of the Brachiocoleus. Which I guess is the move that he's making. So, you know, everyone's like Sangoro. And he said, Queen says, even the masters of color armament hockey uh, have all been taken out of commission because of how strong the grip is. So, Qu Queen is basically trying to make a deal with Sanji that, like, if you show me the great suit, I might even let you live. I might let you take a break a little bit. So, you know, just in exchange for you showing me the great suit, I'll let you, you know, relax chill out a little bit but Sanji's like never obviously he's never gonna do that Sanji's not that like weak-willed he's not he's not a conqueror I can tell you that right now but he's not that weak-willed so yeah so <laughs> another part funny part is uh Queen he brought he brings up the fact that he 
equipped brachio launchers to the torso and he says if they, if i call out their name they'll shoot right at boom and we see queen get shot by his own by his own laser because he said the name of the of the attack and he's basically hurting himself so yes like like a doofus like like a humorous thing so and uh he's like you idiots you're only supposed to attack when i say your name and he said it again the brachio launchers and he gets hit again with his own attack like an idiot and yeah so obviously that causes him to lose grip on sanji sanji's out of um the hold and uh chopper's like are you all right and sanji he's he has a broken leg of a rib his his uh all his bones are broken he's like He's like st still standing though, like he looks like a zombie. It says in the chapter, and he's still he's still all right. He's still durable, and he's he's asking himself what's wrong with my body, and he's thinking to himself, he hopes that he doesn't awaken the Germa Double Six powers because he hates the Germa as we know from Hokey Gallon and everything that went on back there. So yeah, so Queen goes in to attack him from behind, and. He, had, he he tries to use the sword to cut Sanji's head off from behind, and the sword snaps. And Sanji's like, this sucks. I don't want to be a monster like them. And Queen is like, what the heck is going on? But that's the end of the chapter. To be continued, we're going on break next week. So in two weeks, we're going to get one chapter chapter 1029. We're almost about to be 30 chapters into chapter 1000. So 70 chapters till... Uh, I'm not even gonna uh, hold up. I'm not. I'm not even good at math, so I'm not even gonna go, to go into that because I'm gonna butcher something. I'm gonna look like a, compl a complete doofus. But yeah, so this brings up the question: What is how strong is Sanji now? Because now he has, as we know, Sanji has been strong for a really long time. But he has a, a along with him the the you know the capabilities of a Germa Double Six child of of In Smoke Judge. So. And one of the things that Sanji was lacking in terms of strength was durability. Because he has speed, a power, but durability is something that he lacks. So, you know, honestly, I think I think the Zoro versus Sanji debate is once again is has become more like more What's the word I'm looking for? I can never do it when I'm recording. I can never say when I'm recording. More valid, I guess you could say, for and as a discussion, a serious discussion. For Sanji, I'm really, uh, this is kind of in contrast to Zoro and when he's gotten with Enema, you know, Sanji's gotten his durability. And, uh, I wonder how the Germa are gonna react, like Vince Smoke judged, because he probably impl implemented that in the Sioux on purpose. So I don't know if he's gonna change his feelings about Sanji and, you know, accept him as a son. And Sanji's so still gonna be like, no, I remember everything you did to me. Don't switch up on me now, bozo. And, uh, yeah, so that's gonna be it for this chapter. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. And till then, see you in the next one. Peace.